If you're wondering how you can win this bike, check out the link in the description box. Enjoy the video. What's up guys? Sean here from SRKCycles.com. We have a 2004 Harley Davidson. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? Look at it. Look at it. Harley Davidson soft tail standard. It might throw you off because some of the engine components are painted black. It's still a standard. Let's um it's got spoke wheels. I'm not sure if it came standard with spoke wheels though. But it's got spoke wheels, white walls, let's take a first spin. These bars are a little more narrow than what I prefer, but Guys, to start the day like we should, Ecclesiastes 3.1. There is an appointed time for everything, and there is a time for every event under heaven. Turn that. Flip that. Fire that. It's a strong sounding engine. Clutch feels real nice, nice and light. I don't know why it feels so light, but I mean, it holds good, but just real light. Nice and easy, these highway pegs are real nice and just throw your feet up on there. This bike has 27,000 miles and from first glance, it, it feels real tight. It's got a real nice growl to it. It's got a real nice growl to it. They did a lot of blacked out components, you know, the blacked out levers, blacked out handlebars. A lot of the engine casings that they could were blacked out. So if you're looking to do something like that to your bike, this could be a good option for you. Mirrors blacked out. That windshield is just, get it out of here. Don't like them. I mean, it's a soft tail standard. It's not a bike you put a windshield on. That's just my opinion. This thing runs good. Banks throughout the gears. It's a 2004. This is fuel injected. This is fuel injected. And uh, fires up good. It runs good. No pulling the choke out or anything. Steel braided brake lines, steel braided clutch lines. I don't think they needed to do that. I mean, maybe they did. The standard normally has little lower bars, but I don't know if they needed to do that just to get these, these size bars on here, but it's a pretty big task. It's no small task to switch out all your, all your lines. You gotta bleed all the brakes. That's probably the biggest thing. You gotta take the tank off. It's kind of a big deal. So someone did it, they did it right. These are nice looking lines. So the soft tail, and this is, this probably makes more sense if I was saying this before, like two weeks ago. The soft tail was the one that a little more, a little more smoother, a little more softer, a little better ride than the Dyna. But now, in 2018, they just notified everybody, they just made an announcement that they are stopping the Dyna line and going, and the, the handful of Dynas that they really liked, like the um, Street Bob, 
like the Straight Bob and the Lowrider, they are building on the Dyna. No, they're building on the Softail platform now, which is very interesting. When you talk to people about it, I talked to a lot of the Harley Davidson dealers about it. None of those guys care. They all said the same thing. No one buys the Dynas. All these people who are complaining about, oh no, they're taking away the Dynas. Where were you when they were trying to when they were trying to sell them? You were nowhere. They just they weren't selling that well. So why not put them on a little better platform? Hey, makes sense to me. It's things like, you know, if you have people who they'll get on Harley's back for for staying out, staying with the times, for not adjusting with the times, and then you have other people get on their back for being too advanced. They, you can't be both. They're one or the other. They can't be both. I think this is a great example of them, uh, you know, stepping out, doing something new. You can't keep on making models that people don't buy. It's expensive to make to make a bike. And then it's also expensive to remake that bike every couple years when you want to do a whole new model and a whole new design. Millions of dollars to do that stuff. If they decide, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna drop the production of all these Dynas, make that factory do something else, hopefully you can keep some jobs. And It makes sense. Don't build stuff people don't want. Or people aren't buying. Or change it until they buy it. So, as of now, the soft tail line is going to be here for a while. It does encompass a lot of their bikes. So Harley dropped the Revolution bikes. They also dropped the, uh, the Dynas. We all wish they would drop the street bikes, but they... That's kind of their new thing, though. So, this bike runs good, guys. Check out the walk-around video for it. Guys, if you're looking, if you want to see how to win the, uh, the we have a 2011 Harley-Davidson Black Line that we're going to give away to one of our Patreon subscribers. If you are a Patreon subscriber, check it out. There's a link on the uh, channel trailer, possibly a link below in the description. If you're a Patreon subscriber, you get cool exclusive content and the opportunity to possibly win this sweet 2011 Harley-Davidson Black Line. Not this bike, but it's in the, sitting in the office. Also, check out our new uh, new Bikes and Beards channel. Uh, Bikes and Beards. Just search for Bikes and Beards. It'll pop up. We got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of, a lot of fun skits. A lot of fun videos. It's just all entertainment. Just uh, just to have fun. All right, guys. This is Sean signing out. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you going. See you guys later. Coming in high. Woo! You guys like what you see, and you want to see more SRK Cycles content? Click over here. If you guys want to see uh, stuff from a new bike and beer channel? Click right here. If you guys want to see a chance to win a motorcycle? Click down here. Woo